All right, we're going to do a unscientific test of the iPad and how it handles the uh, sunlight. Uh, it's a clear day here in Arlington, Washington, and I've got, uh, according to the Weather Channel, it's about uh, 63 degrees. So I've put my iPad out here in the sun. It's been laying here in direct sunlight for about see if you can pick that up, about 50 seconds. But what we've done is we've got the uh, got the FLIR pointed at it. And what we're going to try and do is see at what point it uh, ceases to operate. Getting a lot of reports that the iPads are shutting down in direct sunlight. So right now it says 115 degrees is the maximum temperature that's being reported. We'll see how this progresses. Alright, it's been uh, a little over five minutes. iPad's still functioning. Probably really difficult to see though in this direct sunlight. It's one of the, uh, one of the negative things about the iPad. And, real bright conditions it's not the best device to read all right so temperature wise let's see what we got here try and get this uh, so you can actually see it the center of the iPad now reads 87 degrees the hottest point is 117 it's average across the the whole face of the device it's about 94 degrees but she's still running so We'll see how it uh, how it goes. It's definitely a cool day here. In mid 60s, it's I would almost expect it to continue to function. But hearing a lot of people complaining in you know Southern California that they're having a hard time keeping it going. So interested to see if we can trip it out. Okay, well after about uh, 11 minutes the screen went black and uh, we got the, uh, the temperature screen saying that the uh, iPad needs to cool down and uh, yeah, I'm really disappointed that we're not able to get better video quality of these screens but uh, hopefully you can see that when we try and get it in the there you go, you can see it. So, right now, the uh, device reads about uh, oh, 95, 97 degrees in the, in the center. It's averaging about uh, 100 degrees. So it looks to me like uh, after 10 or 12 minutes in the rather cool environment that I'm in, just with direct sunlight, you can kill the iPad. So does make it rather limited for outdoor activities.